Hey guys, all right. Sorry, like I told you guys, some of you guys may not have been here. Um, basically, I had to, I'm, I'm stopping and restarting because I'm, I'm recording as well as streaming right now. And I want to be able to put this up and all the information that's going along with it up on YouTube. So that's why I, about, about every hour or so, I'm just going to get to do a quick start and, and restart and make sure, that, uh, make sure that all is okay with the, uh, with the recording. So that's that's why that's why I did that real quick. I'm good. All right. So there were a couple of questions that I wanted to answer there. Yes, it's basically very much like a Rathi Basin. Um, and then the other thing about astral diamonds. No, I don't think that there's going to be an unfair advantage on them, simply because players that just want to play free to play. There's a lot of ways that you're going to be able to get Astral Diamonds. And so you're going to be able to level the playing field by uh, essentially if you have more time than money, you're going to be able to compete with the guy who has more money than time. Um, and I think that's going to level the playing field when it comes to uh, the any type of pay to win factor. Uh, making it to where... Even the even the gamer like myself who has a moderate level of, of, of time to commit to a game is going to be able to earn a fair chunk of Astral Diamonds. Um, also, you're going to be able to earn a lot of gear, uh, whether you play, if you play the PvP with the glory, you're going to be able to earn a lot of gear running the instance dungeons and things of that nature as well. So there's really a lot of options when it comes to how you can you can earn your gear and how you're going to want to play the game and, and, and how you're going to want to level up your character and, and, and essentially, when it comes down to it, how you want to play. I have not yet their uh, Muppet. So, for those of you guys that you've got these, um, you essentially have these different things here. Which is, uh, you know, your event, your skirmish. Which this is a co-op skirmish. It's kind of like a dungeon run, but it's, it's, a, it's a little different than that. Um, this will allow you to, you see up here where it says amass riches. With that, you're going to be able to, you're going to be able to do that daily. And by doing that, and you can see you've got different ones here that you could, that I can actually take part in. So you've got a dungeon, the skirmish, and then the event. So the skirmish right here, let's see if we can click that. By completing that, I'll actually earn Astral Diamonds. Then if we go back to the, uh, let's go back to that other queue. Nope, not there. There we go. Then you've got the dungeon. If, and, and every day that you do this, um, you're going to be able to uh, uncover artifacts, which is essentially, uh, you're going to be able to get gear by doing that. Then you're going to be able to do these here, these, you know, quest, history lesson. With that, you're going to get experience. So you've got, like I said, you've got a lot of different ways. Then you've got the daily quest, which is a you know, daily quest offer. So no no remote version of that store right now. But later on, you're going to be able to utilize this and earn more rewards, including Astral Diamonds and all that stuff. So you've got a lot of different ways. You can see you're going to also have you know upcoming events, and these things are going to be timed. And all of those are going to, um, you can see now this one right here is level 60, and it's PvE. This one's level 60. It's a 20 versus 20 PvP, the Armories of Morden. Then you've got this one, which is um, level 60 uh, Dungeon Delve. So you've got a lot of different ways that you're going to be able to earn the different forms of currency in the game. So, And then, of course, they look like they're going to have a lot of different calendar events and stuff like that as well. Then, of course, you've got the Foundry, which the Foundry you can earn... You earn pff, God, the, the amount of gear that I got out of some of the foundry quests that I did was ridiculous. You know, I'm not sure on that corrupt if you if there's going to be kind of a, a ranked, you know, elo system arena. Um I definitely agree that that's that that's one of the biggest things that uh, <clears throat> that's an allure for a lot of people. I think to some of the different games, whether it be League of Legends or or WoW and stuff like that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there you go. Let me let me show you what Muppet is talking about. So in here, in our currency here. Hold on, I gotta reply back to him. <laughs> so in here, you see here, you've got these ardent coins and you've got these celestial coins. So every day that you log in, you see here, gain a celestial coin the first time you use your invocation skill on a given day. Celestial coins, like the gods themselves, have fleeting form and must be renewed daily to persist in the mortal world. They will be lost if you fail to invoke within 24 hours. You lose all celestial coins in 5 hours, 12 minutes, unless you invoke the gods again. So every time you pray or you use your invocation skill, you earn one of those. And then there's going to be things that you're going to be able to buy with these these celestial coins, you can see here, like I can redeem one to get this elixir of fate, um, which we can highlight or increases strength, constitution, dex, intelligence, wisdom, charisma by one for 30 minutes. You've also got all kinds of different stuff. At three, I can do this one here, which is the... Um, I'm sorry, that one's not showing up. It's still showing the elixir of fate. Interesting, but then when I get five, you can see this blessed profession resource pack, and then there's there's more. At seven, there's a celestial coffer, which gives a large sum of astral diamonds, fills this richly adorned, adorned coffer. So if you log in seven days in a row, you're going to be able to buy one of these celestial coffers, open that up, get a whole bunch of astral diamonds. Exactly, Mars. Seven in a row is where it's at. So then you've got the uh, the celestial coins, which are here. And you've got all kinds of different stuff here, which also come to like this angel of protection, serves healers, those that see fit to fight alongside. The adventurer must have a worthy cause to have the angel fight by their side. Or you can get this at 50 of these, you can get a heavily armored white horse. So this is also another another place where you could take and you can get seals of the manicor uh, from, from these logins as well. And seals of the lion, seals of the pegasus, seals of the dragon. And then those seals, like you can see here, I have five seals of the lion. Those you can then trade in and get items. So see, you're going to have so many different ways. Um, I don't think so. They're uh, uh, corrupt. <laughs> but either way, it sh this gives you guys a good idea and a good understanding of all the different things you're going to be able to amass and be able to save up for that kind of really helped to level the playing field for the player that you know once again logs in every day and and does all that stuff so i'm looking forward to utilizing some of those myself because i'm the guy i'm the guy that doesn't have a ton of time but uh, i can i can log in every day that's for sure It's kind of, it's almost like old school meets new school, right? Because, you know, the, the, the daily login and stuff like that is, is kind of an old school technique that a lot of free-to-play games use to keep you interactive and stuff like that. But they're not only using it to keep you interactive, but they're also using it to uh, level the playing field with the, uh, the free-to-play players and the, and the pay-to-play the pay -play players. Or the, um, the paying players. Oh, my. Unidentified blue. What's up? What do we got? A devoted cleric. It's so funny. I have to tell you guys a funny story. So the devoted cleric, I guess you could call it, you could say, the. no, it's not the devoted cleric. It's devoted. People were giving me shit on my, uh, on my Never Winner video on YouTube. They're like, what's devoted? It's like, dude, go fucking look it up in a dictionary. Yeah, that's right, enemy. A lot a lot of the Asian MMOs do that. <laughs> I'm telling you, they were giving me a hard time about it. 
Like, what the hell's wrong with you guys? What's really weird, though, is I have actually used my invocation skill. So when you can see you click on this little thing and that brings up the vault of the vault of piety. So it looks like the ardent one is the one that you want to save up. And the uh let's bring that up again real quick. Now the ardent coin, you gain ardent coins by invoking the gods at rest areas or altar. Ardent coins accumulate and will remain until you spend them in the vault of piety. So they're not the same. They're not the same as the, cel the celestial coins disappear. But the ardent coins as you get them You'll keep those forever. So that's kind of nice to know. Alright, Dad. Take care, buddy. <laughs> Devoted. That would be devoted. That's not my fault, Mars. That's the game's fault. But devoted would be like, I'm devoted to you. Like, so, like, the... Like, for example, it would be like the cleric is devoted to its god. It is a legit... It is a, leg a legitimate usage of the word. You know, like, I'm, I'm devoted to getting level 35 today. <laughs> Demoted cleric? That'd be funny. Exactly, Gordon. Dude, I love it when I use that skill. I get all big and Hulk-like. It's like Hulk smash when I use that skill. Are you guys noticing, like, all the red around me and stuff like that when I use that skill? I get freaking animalistic. <laughs> That's a good one there, enemy. Alright, Muppet. Get off of her, you bums. <laughs> that was a different skill, but that skill did make me look pretty massive, didn't it? That skill with the uh, the great weapon fighter, like the raging fury or whatever the hell the name of that skill was. Ah, uh, yep, I'm gonna have some too for you guys, Mirasad. See if she actually got back to me with those keys. Actually, it's pretty funny. I just got an email to my uh, to my my personal email account that says. Um, that I've been invited to the Neverwinter Weekend. So if you guys are registered 
for Perfect World, you guys might just get a basic, uh, you might just get an in invitation like I did just now. Hulk time! What's up, Zoe? Did you too, Mars? How funny. Um, so, Gordon, I just got an email from Neverwinter saying that I've been invited to the, uh, to the beta weekend. So I wouldn't be surprised if all you guys get emails. Because I know that at... Um, they, have a, they have, I believe it's at 1 p.m. Pacific time on Saturday they're doing an event where if everybody logs in at that time at 1 p.m. Uh, that you guys you guys will uh, you'll get a uh, you'll get a you'll get a pirate hat you'll get a pirate hat on um, on once the game goes live Uh, Gordon, what time is it there right now? Right now it is it is uh, one forty six Pacific Standard Time. So basically, whatever time it is there, minus minus uh, forty forty five minutes roughly, and it's between one and two p.m. on. So it's not right at twenty forty four. So at twenty at twenty. Uh, 2000, I guess you'd call it, or 2000. I don't know. I don't know how you guys say it. Yeah, exactly, Mars. Thank you. So, Mir said what, what Mars said. So, if you log in between 1 and 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Saturday, you'll, you'll be rewarded a pirate hat upon launch of the game. So, right now, right now we're in that window. So whatever time it is for you right now, if you log in right now and this time on Saturday, you'll get a pirate hat. Exactly. There you go, Bear. They may be sending them out in batches, their enemy. This is kind of cool, this little clock area. Pretty awesome little uh, little quest right there. It will, Mirasat. It will be a permanent. It will be a permanent costume item. You can, Gordon. You can. We could run this with uh, up to five people, and everybody would get. You know, if everybody was on the same quest, you could run through this, and everybody would get credit for the quest being completed. Even though it's like, like as you're seeing, I'm kind of in a little instance area. Everybody will be able to instance in and uh, and be able to complete the quest. Mm. 
No, enemy, it's, uh, it's from EverQuest. Me and a buddy and I were trying to come up with the funniest names we possibly could. So I came up with the name Limpy Muffin Nuts. And it just kind of stuck. They did. They did let me keep that name. They made me change Limpy One-Eyed Willy, though. Which was actually... That's actually how it started, was I came up with Limpy One-Eyed Willy. Then I came... No, I'm sorry. I came up with Limpy One-Eyed Monster. Then I did Limpy One-Eyed Willy. And I tried to sell them on the fact that I was the pirate from... Uh, from Goonies. And they didn't buy that. And so then I went with Limpy Muffin Nuts, and they were finally okay with that. Time for Hulk Smash! Oh, mother flipper. Suckers got away. Get away from Hulk Smash. chest. Oh! Mimic! Wear a spell and, uh, and Ella with, when the Mimic is out. These things are brutal, man. You didn't even drop anything that good. Anything else in here? Tipped over brazier. Probably drop bear. Or or Mike. Last name Hunt. Fill my Kraken. <laughs> things are tough, man. Things are real tough, Mars. <laughs> no problem, Kin. That's what I'm here for. Why not till Sunday, though? You got to work or something on uh, on Saturday or Friday? Oh, you guys missed the mimic, Muppet and Ella. Yeah, Rage, I'm I'm supposed to have beta. I'm supposed to get an email with beta keys literally any moment, which is pissing me off that I don't have them already. So I'll, I'll make you guys a deal. If you need a beta key, send me a message through Twitch. And as soon as I have them, I will send I will send them send you beta key. And I promise you'll have it before Friday. Yes, you can, GG.
You can play Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ooh, this is getting close. Get up, you bum. And heal me. <laughs> You're gonna freeze yourself. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys if you guys if you guys need a beta key, send me a message through Twitch, and I promise you'll have it in the next I, I promise you'll have it before this opens on Friday. Speaking of which, I'm gonna go bug her butt right now. Surprise, surprise. She's hiding from me. There are guilds in the game, Gordon. Yes, there are guilds. Time for my evocation. Or invocation, should I say. to take all my celestial coins away. I'm looking forward to it. I've been reading up more, Bear, on uh, Elite Dangerous, and now I'm really looking. Now you got me really looking forward to that game. That's right, Kinslayer. This is the la This is this will be the last uh, the last closed beta, and uh, I'll be honest. I don't expect I don't expect the open beta to to be very far behind the end of this closed beta. says me oh gelatinous cube love the gelatinous cube one of the greatest monsters ever can't wait to see how the death goes with this guy how it dies
Yes! It just melts away. It's awesome. Couple things I think I should identify. Where's that other thing? <laughs> Sounds good, Taruga. You guys are making me hungry. Well, that's awesome, Bear. I think it's going to be so cool to see you as an NPC. <laughs> Freaking Ella! Why you torment me so? Ella, are you are you vegetarian? Welcome back, Pikino. Time for Hulk Smash. That was easier than the la than the last fight. Can't be missing stuff now. Damn it! Religion kit broke. Alright, well, we'll set the clock. Ah! So you eat fish, but no chicken or beef, huh? I gotcha.
Yeah, we all gotta all gotta figure out those dietary restrictions eventually. Uh, Marisat, I did last night. I did play the uh, the Great Weapon Fighter a bit last night. Um, the reason I'm not playing it right now is because I didn't want to start a new character and let you guys, you know, have you guys watch me going through all the early portions of the game again. I wanted to give you guys some higher level content. Um, and I felt for me to get a good grasp on the Great Weapon Fighter, I would have had to start over. Uh, so I, I chose to go with what I knew, which is my Guardian Fighter instead. So, that's, but I have tried it, and uh, I think the, the class definitely shows a lot of promise. I am the most ominous and portentous hour, both the darkest and the lightest, and the greatest of them all. What am I? Dun, dun, dun. You have answered wisely. Um, not really, Marisad, but my time is a bit limited, so I don't have, you know, uh, just an unlimited amount of time, so uh, you figure for me to get to where I am right now on this character, it took me about, probably about 20 hours. Now, obviously, I could probably do that a lot faster, because... You know, most of the time I'm either talking to you guys or, you know, dealing, you know, sometimes I'm dealing with other stuff or whatever and whatnot. So I could probably do it faster than that, but. I can't believe my religion kit broke. That sucked. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Don't mean to blame you guys. Not really blaming you guys. More uh, giving, a, giving a reasoning as that I enjoy to communicate with you guys instead of just grind through all these levels. So, Kinslayer, they didn't even tell you what video it was that they banned you for? I like them, Duck Force. So far, so far I'm, I'm liking them. And I like them because they, they give you a good descriptor of why certain things are happening or why your damage is, you know, being bonused. Um, different things like that. I, I, I like them a lot. Oh, wow, Kinslayer. That sucks. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Poor Spellworks is missing the dragon. Uh, so probably some music or something, possibly. Or you played a, maybe played a video during during one of your one of your chats. Yeah, but the dragon took off, and now I just get to deal with this gigantic freaking spider. And I have no clue, uh... See that, see that graphical shadow? It's really weird. Oh no! Maintenance in 20 minutes! Well, hopefully it won't take me that long to take it down.
Ah, I got you, Ken. So shards coming down at 2:30. Wonder how long it's going to be down. Guess we'll switch over to some uh, some Path of Exile for you guys at that time for the last bit of my stream today. It is a tough spider. Now it's a dead spider. Ah, that's tough, man. Ooh, adventures pack. That's what daddy needs. Woohoo, more space. All right. Oh wow, so they wipe all of that kin? They wipe all of your followers and all that stuff? Oh, weak. Of course I, I, I need a religion kit. A kit I don't have. Do you at least have a Twitter and other stuff going, Kin, so you can keep people abreast of when you do come back? Yeah, definitely worthwhile because it's a great way to keep people in the loop when you do have a channel as well. Especially since stuff like XSplits has the, um, you know, they've got, <coughs> they've got like the, the announced to, gosh, ah, freaking broke. You know, they've got the ability to announce to Twitter built in now. Makes things pretty easy. I gotcha. Where, where are you seeing that, Chris? Thought I got all the spots where I Valindra spelled it that way. Azazel, perhaps it's time to visit my academic colleagues in Waterdeep. I suppose you could consider the brights. Valindra's undead in the court of the dragon. That no sucked. A threat here in Neverdeath. And we have you to thank. That sucked. Valindra escaping with the right of the Dracolich, however, is certainly a setback. We're sure to see her again. The
Wow, look at the defense. A little bit of a defensive di difference, huh? 75 to 273. That'll be nice. All right, any of these we've got four of? Nope, we need to get rid of that. Yep. There must be better uses for an intellect like mine. Nope, no better uses. So 80% chance of succeeding here. Failed! Damn it! So many threes. Yeah, I agree with you, Bear. I pr that's part of the reason why I don't actually play music during my stream. Is I just I don't want to get hammered. Oh really, Ken? That's crazy. I think you can kind of get away with that, right? Some of that older stuff. I mean, you guys, you guys don't enjoy the music in the background of the game? Figured you guys totally would. <laughs> All right, Pikino, have a good night, buddy. Protectors on claim. So, oh wait, what was that? Reports, the devil worshiping cult a quest about profession. Have taken over the fortress city of Helm's Hold. Oh the boy! Started our forces there under Captain Dunfield tried to retake the city and failed. Maybe the professions are in this survived. weekend. Helm's Hold is vital to Neverwinter. Not only does it protect our inland trade routes, a true professional. Let's see here. Was sent to the sanatorium there for treatment. I need skilled adventurers to. There you go, Tackety. <laughs> I haven't played it yet today. <laughs> Quite possibly, Bear. Alright, where are you, you fricker? A true professional. Sergeant Knox told me you might be dropping by. Professions allow you to gather resources and make items unavailable anywhere else. At times, you may need outside resources for certain activities. That's where I come in. I can supply you with some of the more common resources needed by professions. But I'm getting ahead of myself. The first thing you need to do is hire yourself some good help. So what does that mean? Open the professions window by pressing N. Doo -doo. Oh goody, now we've got 10 minutes to figure this out. Choose a task. Oh, now we gotta talk to him, huh? Damn it! We can do these quests, but we can't choose the task. So that's as far as we get. Uh, you know what Mir said? Let's go take, we can take a look at the mounts real quick. Uh, let's see here. Ooh. 
Where's that shop? That's the exchange, sell, listings. Zen Market. Mounts. We've got this, an extra planer pack hunter. We've got a bunch of different horses. We've got a grizzly bear. And we've got a warg right now, it looks like. An armored warg, an armored bear, and an armored howler. So it looks like the mounts are a little bit limited right now. But I'm sure they'll add a ton more. Oh, I got you, Mars. You're gonna be able to. You're gonna be able to uh, transfer or uh, sell astral diamonds for Zen. So you, it's not not net, not completely out of the realm of possibility to be able to uh, earn your mounts by playing the game. And and he's right. There there are ones for gold and astral diamonds as well, but no no unicorn yet. So look, we're right back to where we were last night. How special! <laughs> With seven minutes left to go. Helm's hold is in ruins. Helm's hold. When we so there we go. Got the quests. The real question is the guard recruiter. Hail it, Sell me stuff, fool. Estido. So for those of you that didn't see them, I'm going to have just enough time to show you guys these gigantic demons that are in this zone. There's your, there's your Helm's Deep. Where are these big bastards? I'm pretty sure there's one up here. Let's go take one out. That's right, bear. I don't know, Muppet. That's a good question. I only have till 4 o'clock today, so... That's only another hour and a half anyway. So I figure I'll just... I haven't played a lot of uh, Path of Exile for you guys lately, so I'll play some Path of Exile. So any of you guys who want to jump in and join me in Path of Exile, I'm probably going to play in the... Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to play in the mid-teens realm. So if you have a character in the mid-teens... You know, 13 to... I think he's up there. We're going to go up here. Five minutes. Five minutes for us to find him. With these giant... He's up here. There he is. Look at him. You can see he's massive from here. Shock Trooper Warlord. We're coming in. Let him breathe some fire on us. Blockage. Oh, he broke my shield in one shot. We're going Hulk smash. He's lit me on fire. He got went Hulk smash in a way of his own. He broke my shield again. Can we hang on? Can we take him down? See, I can take his fire breathing. Ooh, barely got that off. 
Halfway down. Oh, what is she doing running in here? Die in one shot. Watch. Hulk smash time. Yeah, see, of course. My silly pet comes running in and dies. Oh, sounds good, Bear. On hardcore, remember. You are snacks. You will be able to make your own snack based dungeons. Two minutes to do it, too. Boom shakalaka. Down he goes. In an awesome... Uh, I love his mask. And he just dissipates. I love the fact that he just dissipates, too. Let's get all the gold he dropped. Look at all that. One of those... Was one of those really... One of those was 727 copper. And yeah, that's nice. Alright, let's get the flock out of here. Last thing I want to do is uh, log back into the game, and that's where I'm going to be. I'm going to Hulk smash these guys a little bit. Because it's just generic there, Groovy Package. To be honest, I'm going to be dead honest with you guys. They already mentioned in our press event yesterday... That they're that they're looking to get is they're looking to push the servers this weekend to test the servers to see if they need to do any tweaking. So I would not doubt, you know, even though we're all you know trying to get keys and all that stuff, I would be willing to put money on the fact that everyone's going to get invited. Oh wow, that that devil hunter was actually part of an event, and I got a score of of one hundred rank one. And it ends in 1 minute and 35 seconds. I'm probably going to be the only one. Let's see if I... I wonder if I'm actually going to get the uh, the prize. But either way, guys, I am going to, uh, I'm going to uh, move over to Path of Exile now because the game's probably going to crash on me any moment. So um, what's up, Jer Bear? Wow, very nice. Very nice, Jer Bear. So I'm going to switch over now to uh, POE, POE guys or Path of Exile. So hang tight as I'm going to pause the stream real quick and I will be right back. <laughs> 